Have you ever wondered what lies beyond the veil of our reality? What horrors lurk in the shadows waiting to prey upon the unsuspecting? Well, for Ariana, a young woman with a fascination for the paranormal, these questions would be answered in the most terrifying way imaginable. Because in the heart, of Kansas, a cemetery known as one of the seven gates to hell, well, Ariana would come face to face with the very demons that she had spent her life studying. But little did she know that her curiosity would unleash a nightmare beyond her wildest imaginations. Welcome everybody to the newest and best true crime, mysterious, and paranormal channel, Mystery Files. Now as of now, we're going to slip into a mind that's not our own. Let's go. In the heart of Kansas, there lies a cemetery that is shrouded in darkness and mystery. It's called Stull Cemetery, and it's located in this small, unincorporated community of Stull. And it has long been the subject of these spine-chilling legends and tales of the paranormal. There's even whispers of satanic rituals, ghostly apparitions, and even, this part's true, a gateway to hell itself circulated for decades, drawing the morbidly curious and the brave to its eerie ground. Now, Ariana was a young woman with this fascination for the otherworldly, and she'd always been drawn for some reason to the unknown. I mean, you could go on her desktop computer, and the first thing that you would find right in the middle of all the folders was a folder named Demons. And it was filled with these screenshots of demons and paranormal activity, a testament to her obsession of the dark side. So, when she and her ghost hunting team found themselves in Kansas City, they knew they had to visit the notorious Stoll Cemetery. Like I said, it's one of Earth's seven gates of hell. And yes, this is literally called a gate to hell. I mean, they did this because the night before, they had explored this haunted castle, but kind of left them, you know, still itching and unsatisfied. The scares were too predictable and the atmosphere was not nearly as oppressive as they had hoped for. So Ariana was just craving something more. She wanted more. She wanted shivers to be sent down her spine and make her question the very nature of reality to begin with. So as they drove through the pitch black darkness, the anticipation grew with every mile. Ariana had heard the stories before. I mean, and this is true, the Pope himself refuses to fly over Stoll Cemetery. Such was the power of the evil that allegedly resided there. So at this point, the car was kind of filled with this, you know, nervous laughter and this nervous energy, and Ariana's heart started to race as they got closer to their destination. But all of a sudden, a sickening feeling just washed over her. It was a sensation unlike anything that she had ever experienced before. It was a suffocating negativity that seemed to permeate in the very air that was around them. And all of a sudden, the car began to reek of sulfur, a scent that Ariana knew all too well from her studies of the paranormal, and it was an unmistakable sign of a demonic presence. And then right then, as if on cue, a fly buzzed around the interior of the car, its erratic movements adding to the unease that had settled over the group. Ariana's mind was racing, recalling the countless accounts that she had read about, which was about demonic activity and the signs that heralded their presence. Two signs now were enough for Ariana. The overwhelming negativity and the appearance of the fly were more than just coincidences. She knew deep down that they had stumbled upon something very sinister at Stahl Cemetery. She even said, this is scary, let's leave. And her voice was trembling with a mixture of fear and excitement. But before they went to flee, Ariana felt compelled to just do two things. First, she rolled down her window and addressed the unseen entities that lurked out in the darkness. Yes, she actually apologized to them. She said, we apologize. We did not mean to disrupt your peace. And that's what she said as her words were carried out away by the eerie stillness of night. 
Then number two, driven by a force that she couldn't quite explain, Ariana decided to right there take a picture. She kind of held her breath as she snapped the photo, not knowing what horrors might be revealed when she looked at the screen. And this is when it gets truly weird because the next day, Ariana attempted to send the picture to her manager, eager to, you know, share this chilling encounter with someone else. But no matter how many times she tried, the file refused to send it. She kept going over and over again and it just wouldn't budge, it would not send. It was as some unseen strange force was preventing the image from leaving her phone. So frustration turned into confusion and then sheer terror because a message flashed on her screen and the number 666 were glaring back at her and it said that the file size was 666 megabytes. An ominous sign that sent shivers down her spine. Ariana realized that she had captured something far more sinister than she ever imagined because in this picture were faces. And the faces in the picture were distorted and twisted, but they bore this uncanny resemblance to demons that she had studied so intently. But she could never have imagined the horrors that would follow now. You see, Ariana's initial excitement of what she just captured turned to dread as she began to experience a series of terrifying phenomena. These whispers at first were faint and distant, but over time they grew louder and more insistent. And there were these images that would flash before her eyes whenever she tried to close them. And it became more vivid and disturbing, filled with these hellish red shapes that seemed to pulsate this malevolent energy. And for her, sleep became a distant memory as this malevolent presence followed her wherever she went. And all the time, the very air just around her felt very thick and oppressive, as if these demons she had unwittingly summoned were closing in, ready to almost claim her soul. So at this point, desperate for answers and relief from the torment, Ariana turned to the internet, hoping to find someone who could help her. She scoured these forums and websites dedicated to the paranormal, seeking guidance from those who had encountered similar things. But as she delved deeper into the dark recesses of the web, she stumbled upon a shocking revelation. You see, the pictures that she had taken that fateful night with the three faces in them at the iconic demonic Stull Cemetery were almost the exact pictures that she found when she went down this wormhole on the internet. And not only that, these demons almost looked identical to the demons that she had in her file called Demons. Now she truly doesn't know if the file that said 666 megabytes finally sent to her manager or not, but in hopes of getting rid of all these weird and strange things that were starting to happen to her, she decided at that moment, as cool as it was to have this actual proof, she decided to delete the picture. And she was hoping that by doing this, everything that she was experiencing would just stop. But it didn't work because two weeks later, she said as soon as she closed her eyes, she heard this really loud rumble that was right by her head. And she said whenever she opened her eyes, it would stop immediately. But then when she closed her eyes, it started again with the whispers. And every time that she closed her eyes, she started seeing these really disturbing images with, like I said before, these weird red demonic shapes. And at this very moment, she decided to open her eyes and she got on the phone. And when she got on the phone, all she could say is, I'm really scared and I don't want to go to bed. The person tried to calm her down, but to really no avail, but she decided in the end to kind of scooch over on her bed to the left side because she said that's where the best service was in her room. And there was this massive black matter. She had absolutely no idea what it was. She said that it was like something like a black cloud that was right next to her. She started crying. And she was on the phone screaming, what do I do? What do I do? And they said, tell it to F off. And that's when she said, I'm not going to do that. It's going to get upset. So I'm just going to chill and not feed into it because all it wants is my fear. It feeds on fear. She's talking in her head and talking on the phone at this point, trying to convince herself what to do. 
She actually then watched this black mass move to the front of her bed and she was so scared that she accidentally actually fell asleep on the phone. And when she woke up, it was gone. But the very next night, her friend Tyler was staying with her. And she said she was trying to sleep and her body felt paralyzed almost. And she described the exact same thing that Ariana saw. And at this point, millions of people are curious about what happened. And if you're asking yourself how millions of people could be asking about what happened, well, this is because Ariana in this story is no ordinary person. You see, she's actually this massive, huge global superstar with this massive following on social media. Her every move is scrutinized. Her every post is dissected by legions of devoted fans. Yes, this Ariana was none other than Ariana Grande. Remember, even the most popular or fortunate among us are not immune from the dark side of this world that we don't really have that many answers to. But for Ariana Grande, this encounter at Stull Cemetery would forever change her life. A moment of curiosity that had unleashed a nightmare beyond her wildest imagination. It's not known if Ariana to this day is still going through this because this story is from actually 2013. And for those that dare to follow in her footsteps, venturing into the heart of darkness in search of answers, the warning is clear. Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. And like I said, you don't have to take my word on any of this. You can just ask Ariana Grande herself or read her Cosmopolitan interview from 2013. Now, I had no idea that Ariana Grande was such a huge fan of the paranormal. So Ariana, on the slim chance that you see this, I would love for you to come on the show and you can be the Miss Files to the Mystery Files. What do you say? But for those of you that want to watch a similar story or one you might even like a little better than this one, YouTube has cooked you up something real good. So make sure to click right here. For the rest of you guys, I'll see you next time. Cheers.